Hey everybody, Steve Bergen here, and let's talk about how many things are in the control center. Reminder that you get to the control center by taking your finger on the bottom and sliding from the black, from the actual margin of the iPad, up. And that's the control center. And if we want to count how many things that are there, you can start over on the right hand side and you can see on the right hand side that you can adjust the brightness and save some battery juice. That's one. Above that, you have quick access to the camera. That's two. Three, you have a timer or stopwatch. Four, you can turn the sound instantly on or off. Mute. Five, you can put it into do not disturb mode. So the hours of it not disturbing you are there. Six, you can put it in Bluetooth mode. Seven, you can turn wireless on. Or if you're on a plane, you can turn wireless off and be in plane mode. And by the way, when you're in plane mode, it saves battery juice, just like it does when brightness and control contrast is dimmed. So we're up to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. AirPlay allows you to send files to another device or to connect your iPad to a computer connected to a projector. That's nine. This is the volume. That's ten. And this is playing or stopping a video or audio. And so that's going to be eleven. So I think we've got 11 things that you can do with the control center. Pressing the home button or belly button, of course, turns it back off and you're back to your home screen. And again, it's clicking in the black about half an inch from the edge in the bottom and then going up and that's your control center. And you can have that working from your apps as well. All right, Steve Bergen signing off. Hope that was helpful.